What a fucking journey to get this working again. Alright. I'm Fidag01. I haven't played this game in fucking years. Let's just hop right into it. The spell is working. Oh, it is working, is it? Huh. Okay. Look, Gamma. Finally, we have found one. Oh! A young wizard. A student with amazing potential. Enough, perhaps, to save Wizard City. Save Wizard City for like 20 bucks? Let's do oh, it. Really? Where? Wow, Gamma. Okay, you fucking dick. Okay, oh, whatever. Very, no, very I wasn't. Distant realm. Oh, my goodness. On a world that does not even believe in magic. I Crazy. wonder what manner of wizard they might become. Perhaps we should consult the Book of Secrets? No, I <laughs> I don't want to know what goes on behind closed doors, Mr. Headmaster Ambrose, okay? Headmaster Ambrose turns to regard you intently. Oh, no! <laughs> Answer these questions to find out what type of wizard you are. Oh, God, no. Okay. When I complete my goals to win a trophy for the team, Volcano just kills everything. Um, I didn't really like any of these. I liked music, but whatever. Math is my second one. Uh... Onyx looks really freaking cool. I've chosen death. No, I don't think I did. No. I think I just want to go with fire. Wait, what is this fire? Carefully fan the flames. Damage over time. Slow burn. See, I don't want to do that. Uh, what's storm? Storm, also known as strike fast and hard with lightning. Yeah, this seems fun. Um, what do death? Manipulate the power undead, utilize in health drains, damage their opponents, and heal themselves at the XX. Okay. Um, what else? Balance. Oh, uh, support roll. Yeah, fuck that. I'm good. Um, ice. Let me guess. Excellent defense. Uh, so these are tanks, got it. I'm guessing these are healers. What are myths? Oh, stands. Okay, whatever. Um, see, I like the concept of fire, but I don't like taking multiple turns to do stuff. So I'm gonna go with storm. But now that we know what you are, what do you look like? No, I, d <laughs> I don't think that's me. Um, can we custom? Okay, thank God. Um, well, I'm a, I'm a guy. Um, let's see here, what they got for hair? Um, I recently just got a haircut, and none of these look like me. But if my hair's grown out, it would probably. Usually it looks like a freaking afro, I'm not gonna lie. But that's kinda not what I wanna do. You know, I'll just go with I'll just go with that for now. That's I think that's fine. Yeah, it goes past. Alright. Eyes, um Yeah, good enough for me. I'm not really gonna be looking at the front of my character all too much. Give him a shit eating grin. There we go. Lip colors, I would like to have some naturally colored lips. Yeah, no, I'm good. Oh, eye colors, there we go. I'm brown eyed, eye brown, those are brown. Yeah, I'd like to change the. Yeah, okay. I have brown hair, but not that brown. It's probably. Do these cost money or something? Eh, whatever. Noses. Yeah, that's pretty much me. 
As you can tell, I am pretty pale. So we'll go with that. Uh, oh. Oh, fucking no. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good, thanks, though. Um, yeah, am I... No, I don't wear glasses, but, you know, that's pretty cool. I don't remember it being this in-depth when it released, so... It's kind of cool. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go red with black accents. Ooh, wait, actually... With the gold, it kind of looks drippy, though. Okay, yeah, my character's drippy with that. Alright. A little red. And because it's boots, I kind of want to... I think the orange looks nice. I th oh, actually, for the hat, I'll do orange. That makes sense. Alright, yeah, there we go. Alright, we got the drip. Remember, if you ever wish to alter your appearance in the future, simply pay a visit to the magic mirror shop in the shopping district. Awesome, plastic surgery. Let's go. All right, then. What is your name? Can I... Is there William Afton? Oh, no, it's... Oh, uh, it's all medieval type names. Alright, well... I don't even know if they have my real name on here, but... We'll see. I gotta have it. They have, like, everything here. There we go. Name revealed Jeremy. There we go. Um... None of these stand out to me. Well, I... Okay. <laughs> Jeremy Troll. Uh, troll Pants. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I like those. <laughs> troll Pants! Oh. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can do some high level troll. No, come on. God damn it. Alright, well, I'll get back to this when I. Wait, can I play? It's verifying my character? What do you mean? I just made it with your presets. Ugh. Oh. What does it mean it has to verify my character? Is this like the quality check at Domino's? Oh, it's very... No, I... You know, I, I get it. I, I didn't want to play anyway. Oh, it literally crashed. Okay. Oh, it's patching. Okay, I guess I downloaded the wrong version of the game. Makes sense. Um, I would like to get into the game, though. I'd be a big fan of doing that. Oh, okay. You know, I don't think this is going to be an issue. We're just going to hop right into it. Well, hello. If it isn't our newest student... Don't greet me like that. <laughs> My name is Merle Ambrose. I am the headmaster of the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts. No way, I couldn't tell. <laughs> We're expecting great things from you, but first things first. Yeah, what about it? Let me guess. If I remember correctly, there's some lightning strike and... To move around, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. I, I'm going to use WASD, friend, my friend. Like I'm, I know how to play games. Walk up to Gamma and follow his instructions to talk. Oh, Gamma's a boy. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to misgender you. Hello! My name is Gamma the Owl, and I am quite pleased to meet you. I bet you Wizards are. Wizards test their skills by summoning fantastic creatures and dueling. Mm -hmm. To become a master wizard, you must learn every spell in your class. I wonder how far I get free to play, but yeah, Wizards sure. Wizards love to duel. The more spells you learn, the better a duelist you'll become. Okay. Let me guess. Yep. Yeah. Uh-oh, big evil guy doing big evil things. Uh-oh. Malastare. Wait, is that Ooh. his name? How odd. Hmm. 
Come along, young wizard. Let's investigate the matter. Meet me in the tower. You'd best follow the headmaster. You're safe with him. To the tower! Uh, yeah, but I want collectibles. Um, because I know this game is very hell-bent on collectibles. Um, I, I don't think there's anything. Alright, we'll go into the tower. Who's there? Malister. I remembered his name after all these years. Holy shit. Ambrose. You are no longer welcome here. Why have you returned? I'm here to resolve our unfinished business. Is this your latest student? My henchman will see to your little friend. No Hurry way. along, young wizard. Take this deck of spill cards and deal with those creatures while I tend to Malister himself. I just realized I look like a pyromancer, and uh, I chose Storm, Don't so this be is funny. So sure of yourself, old man. Run up and confront them. Be brave. Yeah, I'm just gonna. You. I'm gonna nope out of here. Oh no. I really, I really don't want to be standing in front of him, but whatever. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, at least I'm not in the blue spot. You've drawn these spells from your deck. No Quickly. way. You must choose a spell and use it to attack one of Malister's henchmen by clicking on him. I thought you could drag it, but... I've been at the school for a whole five minutes. I'm already getting headbutt by fucking beetles. Oh, and stung with venom. There we go. Oh, let me get my cursor out of the way. Oh my, you're hurt. You'll need to pay attention to your current health. Um, this I'm so glad that he's... This ball shows your health. If you run out of health in a wizard duel, you'll be defeated. No way. The blue crystal ball shows how much mana you have left. No. The mana is magical energy. If you run out of mana, you won't be able to cast any more spells. When you're out of mana, you'll be at the mercy. Why so distracted? We're under attack. Oh my, call me a fool. I had all but forgotten. Are this recordings like still like over we, then? ten years right. old at this point? Attack his henchman again. Yeah, I think I might, yeah. Oh my god, I can't wait to go to the frickin' carnival area and play the fucking game with the, the horse and the sword. Aha! You doddering fool! You're- Oh no, you're in trouble. Quickly, use the unicorn spill and cast it on yourself. It will replenish your health. I, well, you see, I... I don't have friends to cast it on, but alright. Oh, he just skipped his turn like a... whatever. Foolish creatures! You've let the young whelp heal! Defeat the whelp or you'll suffer for it! Use your spells to weaken the young wizard's spells! Here, young wizard. Take some more pips. They power your spells. The more pips you have, the stronger the spells you can cast. Quickly now, pick another spell and cast it at one of them. Okay. Oh my, that spell reduced the power of your own spell. I'm still gonna one shot though, right? Are you kidding me? He's at like what? At last, you fools earn your keep. 
Now, finish the child. Cast this Balance Blade spell on yourself. It will increase your next spell's power. But one of them is at 30. I, I can just, like, one-shot him with, like, anything in my arsenal. Ugh. The force tutorial. Or, it's not forced, but I'm still gonna play through it. I'd like to just take a second to, uh... This one learns fast, Maristair. Two <laughs> can play at that game. I've got Shot it. Shot an arrow. Use this meteor strike spell. It will strike both of the henchmen. Here are the pits to cast it with. With the balance blade spell you've already cast, the meteor strike spell should finish them off. Cast it now. You'd hope. Um, yeah, that guy shot an arrow at me. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, just when I thought I've seen it all. Guy shot an arrow, grew a tree, the tree disintegrated and freaking hit me. Um. So. Oh wait, never mind, I have a power-up, yeah. This should one sh What was the point of casting all the other spells? Oh, excellent work, young wizard. Now, let me see to Malister. I'll show him. Threatening a new student before orientation, no less? Your student, keep, you keep it in mind, Another you know? Another time, old man. I have what I came for. And now I'll take my leave of this wretched place. I would, yeah, this place kind of sucks. He's gone, and none too soon. What sinister goal brought him here? Hmm. Mm. Oh my, you look a bit the worse for wear. Hmm. Here, let me restore you to your full health and manner. <laughs> my character's just dancing around. He's like, yeah, you look, you look kind of fucked up, kid. On let me, let me help side? you. Congratulations! Defeating Malastare's henchmen has earned you some experience. Oh wow! This experience bar will help you track your progress. Awesome. When the bar fills up, you'll gain a level and be able to learn new spells. Now, do you have any questions, young wizard? What's that? You don't know how to speak. Oh, my pardon. Well then, let me teach you how to use menu chat, and we'll see what you have to say for yourself. This is the menu chat button. Click on it to say something. Ah, you have the way of it. Now <laughs> you can chat to old man. anyone you meet and make lots of friends here. You can also hit enter and type your own messages using text chat. But players under 13 will first need their parents' permission. You'll also need a spell book and a wand. There you go. No young wizard should ever be without them. I'm never gonna equip that, uh... Oh, never mind. Auto equips for me. I'm so glad. I should say, young wizard, that I was quite impressed with your courage. There's little doubt, but that a great destiny awaits you. I hope so. Well, who knows? Maybe you'll fill my shoes and become headmaster someday. Yeah, no, I'm good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mountain of duties to attend to right now, including readying your enrollment. If only my real college could have done that. Jeez. So if you don't mind waiting for a moment or two, I'll pop back to my office and straighten up. I don't like the way he worded that. I'll summon you when things are presentable. No, don't. Oh, so many books and papers to tidy up. Uh, where did I put those forms? You, See you soon. You, no, you don't. You, you don't have to make an excuse. I get it. It's weird, but it's fine. Um, I love the fact that it played. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, so does the game just get bigger as you? You play it? Alright, whatever, we're gonna retry it. Uh, 
Oh, they just lost the budget for all the voice acting in the in the in the music. Got it. Okay. Welcome to Ravenwood Academy, Jeremy. Normally, this is where you'd be enrolled to send to your classes, but times are not normal. There is some kind of supernatural incursion in the Unicorn Way that must be dealt with immediately. I wonder. You've demonstrated such potential. You've demonstrated I... such potential. What the fuck? I think practical experience will serve you better than lectures. Care to put your talents to the test? Fuck it. Splendid. Time is of the essence, so I'll teleport you there directly. Seek out Private Connolly, the um, Wizard City Guard in charge of that area. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that <laughs> that area's completely downloaded yet. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't it do this when I installed the game? I uh, fuck it, retry. Oh my god. Welcome to Unicorn Way. Oh, it doesn't force you to walk here anymore? There are creatures here who will attack you if you get too close to them, so stick to the task at hand. Whoa, 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 young student. The street's very dangerous right now. Is there something I can help you with? Wizard, do you see the symbol above private colonies? Oh, it's turned into Dora. God damn it. Go speak with him. Yeah. Um, so... It doesn't... What's this? Okay, all right. Okay, that's just all right. What's up? You say the headmaster sent you to help us? Well, then, you're just the person, a oh, wizard. I've been waiting for you. This used to be a pleasant street, but we've been invaded by hordes of strange creatures. The music's different here as well. We've been doing our best to push the creatures back, but we're no match for their dark magic, especially the undead. Oh, that's the PvP arena over there. Maybe you're I'm starting to remember stuff. Magic will do the trick. Go battle a few of those lost souls, then report back to me. Good. To battle the monsters, run up to them on the street. Was it ghouls that were here? Them, they will summon a combat sigil, and you will be pulled into combat. If you want to avoid battle, you can keep safe by staying on the sidewalk. Oh, uh, okay. If you drive away some of these lost souls, we'll be in your debt. Yeah, sure. I gotta turn down this music. Although the new music is great. Um... All right, let's see. Yeah, you, you used to have to walk your ass all the way here, so this is just new. And this never used to be here, at least I don't think. Yeah, let's 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 peep this out. All right, they do. Well, this is a guarantee, ninety percent chance though. Whatever. I like my odds. So what, they made them one shot? Because I, these used to take forever. Come on. Come on. Let me fight you. Oh, you get invincibility after a battle now. Okay. Used to be able to just chain them together. That's an 80% chance. Transparent, you are safe from combat. No, I, yeah, I'd like that. For a short time. Get to the sidewalk before it wears off. I don't think I will. Actually, I think I might just turn in the quest. Um. Mm. That's turned the tide. We'll follow your lead and stop pushing these ghosts. But I'm worried we won't be able to drive the phantoms away for good without knowing why they're attacking us. I know, maybe they're bored. We've got to find out what's behind this. Another intrepid student, Siri Nightchan, also came to help. Maybe he's learned something useful. Um. If you can drive away some of these uh, yeah, lost souls, okay. we'll be in your debt. Oh, hey there, I'm Saren. You're new here, aren't you? Well, I for one am very glad you're here. 
I couldn't help but notice how you took down those lost souls. I have to say, I'm quite impressed by your spell-slinging skills. When I heard there was trouble on Unicorn Way, I rushed right over. But then I saw what's out there. Skeletal pirates. Skeletons I can handle, but skeletal pirates? Puh! Yar! No, thank you! Pirates give me the heebie-jeebies! Excuse me, did I hear you two talking about skeletal pirates? If you're going to face them, please come talk to me first. It would be good to know exactly what we're up against. Do you think you could battle a few skeletal pirates to see how tough they are? Great! I'll mark their location on your map. Thank you so much for doing this. Good luck! Ooh, press M to access your map. You'll notice several points of interest, including the locations of enemies. Okay. Because you'll be engaging in combat, it's imperative you know how to regain health. It's the red and, and blue orbs. Yeah. If you need to boost your health, collect the red wisps you see along the street. Ooh, if you need mana, collect blue wisps. Remember, casting spells costs mana, and fleeing combat drains it completely. So keep your reserves full. Oh, I didn't know fleeing drains your mana completely. Don't the skeletal pirates on Unicorn Way. The guards will appreciate a report on their combat tactics. Yeah, sure. Okay, but let me speak to this I'm lady first. I'm glad I overheard you two wizards talk about those pesky skeletal pirates. They're looting the street and making such a mess. If something isn't done, we could be forced to leave the city. Please, will you help us? Olivia is offering you a side quest. Once you accept it, press Q to open your quest log. Quests marked with stars are part of the main story. Side quests are optional, but allow you to gain additional rewards. Good hunting. Okay, so... Do I have to track both of them? Okay, so... Now we... Are going this way. Oh, I love the the crooked geometry. Did they actually like make it easier to walk around? It's kind of sad. I'd like to fight multiple of you. Cuz uh I could handle it definitely, right? 80. Oh. I don't care if it's 70% chance it has the potential to one shot. There we go. Hello, little guy. Let me, let me, let me fight you. Let me. There we go. So snakes just have the ability to one shot these things. So. We're just gonna be non-stop casting this. Uh oh. It'd really suck if this fizzled. Alright. It'll one shot every time. Parley, parley! Ye yeah. got guts, little wizard. More than us to be sure, but ye be no match for that which rattles in the darkness. <laughs> I want to fight you. Why am I still invincible? Oh, they're both. Alright, whatever, I guess. Oh, now I'm allowed to fight the whatever. <laughs> Why'd that invincibility last for so long? It'd be funny if I extended the fight. It really would. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna be a really bad teammate. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here's me getting involved in stuff that I shouldn't be. What? Bruh. I wanted to go all the way over there. This is this is bull. Oh, but that. Uh, now I'm getting trolled. Yes, yeah, sorry. You're you're of no assistance to me. I could one shot them. 
Yep, see ya. Ooh. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he got something. He got like a premium pass. I like how the top left is just a permanent, like, uh. Oh, bless you, John. Advertisement. I don't have much to offer, and thanks. But please take this magic ring. Maybe it'll help you in your adventures. To put on new equipment, press B to open your backpack. You will catch that to G. Your hat, robes, shoes, and other items. Mousing over an item will compare its stats to what you currently have equipped. Select the best equipment available to your school. Sure. Thanks again, young wizard. Maybe I can find another helpful young wizard to help sweep up all these eye patches. Oh, wow! You made it back! I mean, uh, how'd it go? What did you learn? The pirates warned about a rattle in the darkness? See, this is what I was talking about. Pirates are always creepy and frustratingly vague. Right. What is clear is that some evil magic has emerged here, and we're going to need more than a handful of guards to stop it. Awesome. There is a powerful, ancient being who may be able to help us understand the dark forces we're facing, the wise Seraph, Lady Aurel. Right, okay. Not only does Lady Aurel possess strong magic, she's also the Warden of the Fairies, and they keep her well informed. Perhaps she's heard something about this rattle in the darkness. Go speak with her in the hedge maze at the far end of Unicorn Way. Sure, okay. Oh, it's the quest to let the fairies out the boxes. Okay, I remember this. Right, of course. Why would it be ready? Halt! What purpose brings you into our hedge maze? This used to be more of a maze than it was. Forgive me, young wizard. These dark times make me leery of new faces. But now I see the light within you. We've much to discuss. Oh, I'm so glad. Actually, before we discuss, I am going to look through this hedge maze to see if I can find a chest or something. Because uh, my loot goblin brain is... Uh, Really telling me that. Oh. Is there nothing in this hedge maze and I'm just running around for nothing? Is there literally, there is no reward in these hedges whatsoever? Wow, okay. Why make them then? What the fuck? Okay, then. The evil forces that loosed the undead upon Unicorn Way have also corrupted my precious fairies. Please, you must help them. Vile bone cages have appeared along Unicorn Way. They are filled with a mysterious dark magic that corrupts all fairy folk who venture near them. Dispel the dark magic in the bone cages. Then bring me fairy dust from those it corrupted. It may reveal to me who is behind this atrocity. It pains me to say it, but the only way to obtain the fairy dust is to wrestle it from the dark fairies in combat. Try to be gentle. I'm gonna make an edit right now after she says be careful with it. It's just gonna be me one-shotting a fairy. Bone cage. Uh oh. I might as well. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, uh, this. No. I. This has the potential to one shot, so I'm gonna do that. You gotta, you gotta one shot. That's what you, that's what you do. Oh, 
Sir, I'm not interested in playing with you, so... Supposed to be like mini bosses or something. Oh, hold on, I get this one right here. Bone cage. You hear a tiny, joyful voice call your name. Oh. Thank you for helping us, kind wizard. Your courage and benevolence will not soon be forgotten by the fairy folk. Okay. I already forgot what I did, but uh, thanks anyway. You've cemented your reputation as a hero to the fairy folk, young wizard. With the bone cages dispelled, I can help the other corrupted fairies in time. Yo, let's go. Now we must root out who is behind this attack. Please, let me examine the fairy dust. Sure. Is that? But how? The fairy dust displays scars of a dark magic vanished from this world long ago. Could it be? Rattle in the darkness? Rattle bones. In life, a ruthless tyrant who was banished to the underworld for his crimes. If I focus, perhaps I can sense his location. Now there's a chest back there. What oh, the fuck? So much darkness. No, my vision is obscured. All I see is a tower ringed in bones. Siren Nightchant knows Unicorn Way. Perhaps he can help. You must hurry. Here, take this broom. It will allow you to travel to Siren much faster. Now fly, and may the light guide you. You've received a temporary mount that will expire after one day. You can also purchase permanent mounts from mount vendors or the crown shop. To equip a mount, press B to open your backpack. Next, click on the mount tab and double click on the mount. I, bet I can sell that use. in a world Quickly, auction house you must for ride some to Siren good at money. Once. Ask him if he knows of a tower ringed in bones. Go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go get the chest first. Knew there had to be a reason for them to make an area like this. So now, is there one in all four corners, or was I just being too? Uh... No, I'm just being too optimistic. Okay. Just checking, just in case. Because you never know, apparently. Okay, yeah, that's enough checking for me. Alright, I'm not going to be equipping that because I have a feeling if there's a world auction house, I'll be able to sell that. If there is even is, like, an economy in this game. I have to assume there is. I want free shit. There we go. Six gold. Woo! I can feel the excitement in my bones. For this brand new adventure. Oh, well he has a new quest. Hold up. I sent Private Orion down the street a while ago, and he's not back yet. We're all Orion's a good friend of mine. Could you go see if he's alright? He may be hiding in one of their houses. See if you can find him. Hello! You were gone for so long, I was beginning to worry you'd run off and joined a skeletal pirate crew. But what did Lady Oriel have to say? Oriel thinks an underworld tyrant named Rattlebones is behind all this? Wicked. Let me think. He's in a tower ringed in bones. Well, the skeletal pirates do seem to be concentrated around the old archives. Try looking there. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Thank God. If he couldn't mark it on my map, I was gonna, I was gonna start flipping, uh, flipping burgers. I was about to make a small fry. You know what I mean? 
I don't want to. I don't want to do that. You know. I have a feeling this is on the other side of the map, and I'm just yeah. Hold up. No, it's apparently it's here. Okay. Oh, I love collision. Okay, let's go in here. Get back on dead fiend! Oh, a student, is it? You're a brave one. Connolly sent you to check up on me? I'm well, but I did have a bit of a scare. I was making my rounds when a horrifying ghost swept out of nowhere. I recognized her from the old stories. Lady Blackhope, the Wailing Widow. I'm not ashamed to say she scared me after death. I hightailed it here and shut the door. I can't leave this place if she's still out there. Black Oak Tower's not far away. That must be where she came from. Maybe something in there can drive her spirit away. I love stairs that I can't walk up. <laughs> can't enter. Oh, that's kind of funny. All right, let's see here. No reward or anything. Nothing I can interact with. Love it. Um. Well, we can check this area out, I guess. This is a whole side quest. Or something. Oh no! Sorry, can't can't do the current goal. Gotta gotta go get a chest. Love it. You want me to stop haunting this street? Ha! Ah, let's see if you have enough spirit to stop me. Sure. Um I could one shot that if it hits. Wow, whole 66 damage? Damn. I bet your minion does more. Never mind. I'm thoroughly disappointed. Ah, oh, fuck. The first fizzle of the playthrough. Let's go. Well, that still has one hit potential, so... Thank God he fizzled because uh, that would have been, would have been a lot of damage I didn't want. All right, let's see here. Do I got any healing spells? No. I need to hit her twice. I can do that. I need to hit her two to three times before I die. Oh, vomit that. Love this. Thanks. Unlucky damage. Go with another one of these, hope we get a good one. Unless it's gonna heal her. Fizzle. Damn. Oh, lucky damage? No, unlucky damage. Goddamn. Well, it's guaranteed death on this, so just want to get the chance up. <laughs> Gigi's got him, I bozo. You have enough spirit after all. Go tell the guardsmen I will haunt them no longer. Life magic was said to have been discovered by the earless inhabitants. Greenwood guided by other than Grandfather Tree himself. He instructed his early disciples oh. to plant trees and tend to a grove to learn the complex interactions of all living things. As these early theurges advanced in their studies, so too did their gardens improve, eventually sprouting the sentient spell trees. Not just of life magic, 
but all the schools. Each tree embodied a new form of magic, a new aspect of existence. It was through their growth. Oh, it's a slur for all the teaching, trees. That magical law was tested, explored, and codified. Sure. Okay. Thanks for the lore dump. So one tree gave birth to all trees. Looking pretty cool. Um, don't we? Yeah, okay. My A key's being a little shy. It's also not pointing me in the right direction. You defeated Lady Black Hope? Nope. Thanks, Wizard. I'll return to my post now. Uh, as a favor, please don't tell Private Connolly what happened. I don't want him to think I'll flee from the first ghost that chases me. I only run from the really scary ones. You're right, of course. Um. Now there's still, like, no one time reward in here. Sad. Uh, we'll go turn in that quest after I do Rattlebones, which is. The. Oh, okay. I need to find a, a blue wisp. If possible. I'm assuming this is probably just going to be like the same area that I was just in, but harder. Good. Oh, Work no, easier. Ball. Okay. This could be the toe Madister seeks. Now we. Uh, what's this? A wizard. Excellent. I could use a combat break. Let's play. <laughs> Alright. I gotta remember. One hit potential dark fairy. It has the chance to, so I have to try it. I probably one shot rattle bones, right? Uh oh. I wanna one shot you if possible. Thanks, bye. Let's see. Nope, not the one shot. Sad. I know this is guaranteed. Just going for the highest chance of not fucking up. Rattlebones dropped the tome he was holding. It could be important. Perhaps Sarah will know what should be done with it. No more lore? Sad. Okay. As you walk back onto Unicorn Way, you can't help but notice that the dark magic that was previously choking the street seems to have abated. Wow. But there's still uh, evil skeletal pirates. 
and whatnot everywhere. So did I really, did I really impact the, um, you know, I don't think I did. Uh, well, let's get the, oh, he's I see back. you found Orion. I suppose some monster scared him out of his wits and he was too frightened to come back. Well, well, see, what had happened was... Well, it's not the first time. And <laughs> I wager it won't be the last. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Thanks for finding a wizard. That was the most disingenuine laugh I've ever heard from a freaking voice actor. You did it, didn't you? You beat Rattlebones! Yeah. The darkness plaguing Unicorn Way is lifting. Look! No way. With Rattlebones defeated, the guard should be able to drive away the rest of the undead horde. Really? Ooh, no, that there's no way. looks important. You should take it to the library in the commons. Harold Argleston will know what to do with it. Yeah, I'll actually equip that, thanks. I look even worse. Um, Say, can you check up on someone for me? I usually... She's just down the road a bit, and she usually keeps her lights on. She doesn't like all the lost souls roaming around. Can't say that I blame her. Sure. Well, I'm gonna do this before heading back. How do I... how do I text? I was told I could text. no. No. Whatever. I'll figure out how to harass people later. It's not that important, it seems. Oh, it's gonna be that house right here. Well, I'm kinda... I'm kinda... I'm kinda good with it. Oh, hello! You say that Private Conley was worried about me? No. He always does fret so. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm alright. But I wish someone could do something about all those ghosts outside. Me too. Sometimes I wish Auntie M could join me here. I'd feel better with her around. Well, Say, that just sucks. I was having sucks. my friends over for dinner, but they are running late. I fear for their sake with all those ghosts roaming around. Mm -hmm. Could you check up on them? My two friends live on this street, down towards the park area. Look for a house with a light on in the window. You can't miss it. Okay. What am I doing? Friend checkups? Uh, well, it looks like they all have their windows open, so it's like, what's the point? I just realized, why am I doing wellness checks on literally everyone? What? You say that Dorothy is looking for us? Yeah. We were just about to be on our way. Oh, I told you we should have left earlier. Now we've gone and made her worry about us. I'm sorry, but I cannot find my oil can. You wouldn't want me season up on the way there. Oh dear, we always go through this. Can you return to Dorothy and tell her we'll be running late as usual? I really hope the quest just isn't me running back and forth between these houses because that would be a really shitty side quest. They are safe and sound? It's good to know that they are just running late. Now I won't have to worry. I always fear a wicked witch might show up and whisk them back to her castle. This land is so strange. Not like back at the farm. But I do like it here. Headmaster Ambrose is such a nice wizard. And my new friends are nice too. I'd say that in all, this place is as fun as a barrel of flying monkeys. Would you say hello to Private Connolly for me? No, I don't think I will. Are you having trouble finding their house? No, I'm not. Look for a blue light on You can window. stop talking. Thanks, that though. That means it is a house you can enter for Oh the my god, she speaks have. through... She speaks through loading areas. Wait, where the hell am I going? This way, okay. What's going on over here? Scrappy Otis? Pretty cool. Oh my god, what's going on with the camera? I don't think this if has... If Bones wanted that yeah, tone, okay. you should get it to Argleston in the library. If... Glad to hear Dorothy is doing well. Okay, um, I don't think there's any more quests here, right? Ruby slippers? That's kind of cool. Diego the Jewel Master! Aha! Head Headmaster A Most excellent. This will take but a few minutes. Enter the door to the arena to begin. Yeah. Whatever. 
Oh, right, of course. Why would that area be ready anyway? I mean, I, I didn't want to go in that door or anything. Welcome, my friend, to the dueling arena. You wish to learn more of the art of dueling, no? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Of course I do. Outstanding. Approach the puppet, and we shall begin your lesson. Let us begin by explaining PowerPoints. You may call them pips for short. Whoa. PowerPoints are magical energy. Gaining pips allows you to cast more powerful spells. Master Ambrose called them pips, but I didn't know they were for PowerPoints. Every round, you will receive another pip. That's awesome. You can awesome. see the number of pips each participant has by looking at this circle around their feet. Yeah. Nearly every card has a pip cost. It is the number in the upper left-hand corner, yes? Uh, yeah. No, I think so. I mean, you're the one telling me, right? At the beginning of each round, you will have a chance to get a power pip instead of a normal pip. Oh, this game has RNG! I hope you have found our lesson to be most helpful. Good luck, my friend, and see you soon. Um... Oh, I wanted to explore the arena. Nah, I'm good. Uh, let's see what's over here. I thought there was an NPC that sold shit. Am I wrong? I hope this area is, like, not loaded, because, like, why ever, <laughs> why would I ever want to go here, you know? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> Ooh, quest galore. Whoa, whoa there, chum. Stop a second and introduce yourself. Me? I'm Boris, Boris Tallstaff, ace reporter at the Ravenwood Student Gazette. I hate this guy already. Okay, well, if I can't get a quest helper for that, I'll do it later. Ah, you must be the new student I've heard so much about. You made quite a name for yourself on Unicorn Way. Yep. I'm in the air. How the fuck is it not loaded? I like, yeah, please. I'd love to retry. Alright, let's figure out how to get some funny stuff in this deck. I don't know how this works. Uh oh. Oh, can I tune the chances of what I get? I think I have to interact with this book. What's this thing? So glad I was able to interact with that and it's labeled and everything. So fire and ice, have been, does that just mean it's right next to the fire ice? I don't know. Do we get a lightning tree? We do. What's up, cutie? What's this? Yeah, no, I didn't. <laughs> God damn it! No, I didn't. I didn't want to go in there. It's fine. You know, it's. type of cult shit is going on here. I love useless empty rooms in MMORPGs. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Alright, I'm just gonna... wait for this area to load. 
I'm not even going to talk to her. I'm just going to go to her book. History of the Ice School. Hmm. Lore. Yeah, never mind. These people are useless to talk to. But the books, I think, are important for lore. Although, if you could find me your, your lore book... Yeah, okay, so I've always had a question. These small dudes, what is the point of them? I, I remember uh, when I was younger, I'd just like find them all around. Maybe it's part of a quest or something, but. Once you get settled in, report to the headmaster. Yeah, I got my own room. Let's go. Fish! I know! We can fish! Here with magic. Just talk to old Lucky Hookline to learn all about it. Ah, uh, that's right. Fishing's a great way to oh buy my new God. items. You can even get aquariums to display your best catches from all what is, over the What the fuck is this character design? And, and oh, oh, there's Farley, the Wizard City gardener. That's exciting too. Gardening is indeed exciting. You can raise crops in your dorm or house that yield all kinds of items to aid you in your journey. Gardens also make for prettier landscapes, perfect for my specialty. Photomancy, magical portrait making which lets you preserve still images. I know, right? There's so much to do here and we're not even done. But There's a fucking... A breath. Inhale, exhale, and get back to basics. Because when it really comes down to it, almost oh my God. you do makes you better at dueling. So let's go meet the duel master. There's an NPC oh, hello? for taking pictures. Tell me, have you ever wished you could archive your awesome accomplishments, save striking scenes, and immortalize interesting entities? Well, now you can through the captivating art of photomancy. You can now use snipping tool. I'm really hoping this is multiple target, even though I don't think it is. And... Um... I gotta heal myself, so I'm gonna pass, actually. Oh, I could've... Zero picked myself. That was a stupid move on my end. Oh, I'm not gonna survive this next turn, unless he fizzles. Fizzle, fizzle, fizzle. Whatever it happens. I didn't think that one out. I was being a dummy. I gotta fill my potion bottle. This running into these does it. I'd rather just do it myself. What's this do? <laughs> Does that actually do anything or? Do I, I'd rather just play the games. Um, Dueling Diego, please. Okay. Use right arrow to move Diego forward. A to attack high S low. Okay. I forgot how to. Oh, it's space. Okay. It's like a rhythm game.
What the? He's cheating. Got him. GG Bozo. Where's my health? Did I not get health? I'm literally so good. My jump? My jump? Tells me you wish to learn of the arena, yes? I already did. Ah, but the arena, she is not for the faint of heart. She holds a co- okay. Oh, don't worry about that, because the next stop on our tour That's is the awesome. shopping district, where you can I prepare really for I really couldn't anything. care less. That guy literally has a- How come I can't have a dinosaur? The fuck? This is the only place where I know that red wisps spawn really frequently. Go to a combat zone to heal. Does that make sense to you? This has been the adventure of Jeremy Trollpants. <laughs> Alright, see ya.